Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the nomenclature of substituted benzenes. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about benzene as a parent chain. Um, and for a lot of aromatic compounds, benzene serves as the parent name of the compound. So for example, this compound here would be called methylbenzene. And uh, this compound here, uh, ooh, not calcium, chlorine. chlorine could be called one, I, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my text editor here, here we go, 1,3-dichlorobenzene. Uh, when you have uh, a side chain or something on benzene that is longer, the benzene can be named as a phenyl substituent. Let me draw a long alkyl chain here. Uh, and so here I have a, a long alkyl chain, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 uh, carbon atoms, and the benzene is on carbon three. So this is this is three phenyl tridecane. Uh, and it's worth noting that the phenyl substituent uh, it has an abbreviation if you haven't seen it before. It can be abbreviated PH. There's some folks who also like to abbreviate it to the Greek letter phi, which is the Greek letter that makes the sound for phenyl. Uh, I don't like it, but you might see it. <clears throat> There's um, it's worth uh, talking about. Uh, some nomenclature relating to the relationship between substituents on an aromatic ring. Uh, particularly the di-substituted enzymes have uh, three different constitutional isomers And they are labeled ortho for the 1,2 isomer. And so this is orthodimethylbenzene, or sometimes just O-dimethylbenzene. The 1,3 isomer is meta. So here's meta-dimethylbenzene, or just M-dimethylbenzene. Give myself a little more room for para here. And so the 1,4 isomer is para, or sometimes just P. Uh, so this is P-dimethylbenzene, or para-dimethylbenzene. Using these as part of a name uh, are a little bit like using cis and trans, that once the, the molecule gets complicated enough, you can't really use them... Uh, to, to, you can't really use them as part of the name. And so the name of this molecule is just going to have to be, you know, some kind of substituted benzene. Uh, and there's a methyl at one, a chlorine at two, and this nitro group at four. And like, like always, we list the substituents in alphabetical order, not numerical order. Yeah, I think I'd prefer. Though, even though we can't use ortho, meta, and para in the name itself, ortho, meta, and para can still be used to refer to the relationship between uh, two functional groups. So the relative relation, the relationship here is 
meta between the chlorine and the nitro. We can't use meta to describe the name of the compound, but we can say there is a nitro group meta to the chloro group. In the next video, I'm going to introduce you to some common names that have survived uh, for uh, a number of commonly occurring benzene derivatives uh, that a lot of people will still use even though they don't look like official IUPAC names. Thank you for watching.